ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வெரி குட் மார்னிங் டு ஆல் வெல்கம் பேக் டு இங்கிலீஷ் செஷன் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் டூ யூ ரிமெம்பர் வாட் டூ யூ லேர்ன்ட் இன் த லாஸ்ட் செஷன் எஸ் கரெக்ட் அனிமல்ஸ் அண்ட் தயர் ஹோம்ஸ் நவ் ஐ ஆஸ்க் சிம்பிள் கொஸ்டின் வாட் இஸ் த ஹோம் ஆஃப் ஹார்ஸ் எஸ் கரெக்ட் Stable is the home of cars. Okay dears, shall I move to the today topic? Are you ready? Today we are going to learn about gender noun. Students, already I told you what is a noun. Yes, correct. Noun is nothing but noun is a word used to name of a person, a thing, an idea. a place okay is it clear noun dear shall i move to the next one now i explain the gender nouns listen carefully a gender specific noun is a noun that refers specifically to someone or something male or female in english the four genders of noun are listen i read one by one first one masculine second one feminine third one common and last one neuter do you understand gender noun dears now we can see the each one first we learn about masculine noun masculine noun is nothing but a male member of a species is a masculine gender noun I give example dear listen carefully first one uncle king bull and hero etc once again i repeat it masculine noun masculine noun is nothing but a male member or animals okay do you understand masculine noun dear shall i move to the next one Next we will learn about feminine noun. Feminine noun is nothing but a female member of a species is a feminine gender noun, okay? Now I give example for feminine noun. Listen carefully. First one aunt. Next queen. Heroine. And cow. etc once again i repeat it feminine noun feminine noun is nothing but a female members or female animals okay is it clear feminine noun shall i move to the next one do you understand both nouns dear now i give more examples for masculine and feminine noun listen carefully I read one by one listen dears first one headmaster headmaster is masculine noun students i ask one question why do we call the headmaster is a masculine noun yes correct headmaster is a male member so he is called masculine noun is it clear dear headmistress is feminine noun now i ask simple question why do we call the headmistress is a feminine noun yes correct dears headmistress is a female member so she is called feminine noun is it clear dear headmaster is a masculine noun headmistress is a feminine noun second one hero is a masculine noun heroine is a feminine noun next one hunter is a masculine noun huntress is a feminine noun next one husband is a masculine noun and wife is a feminine noun king is a masculine noun and queen is a feminine noun man is a masculine noun 
and woman is a feminine noun milkman is a masculine noun and milkmaid is a feminine noun do you understand masculine and feminine noun dears shall i move to the next one next we will learn about common noun a common gender noun is used for either or both males and females okay now i give examples for common nouns listen carefully first one student pilot doctor and teacher etc once again i repeat it common noun listen carefully common nouns that are used for both masculine gender and feminine genders okay do you understand common noun dears shall i move to the next one next we will learn about neuter noun a neuter gender noun refers to a member of a species which is neither a male nor a female in animate things are neither male nor female so they are neuter i give example dears listen first one sky i tree mountain mirror lamp spoon school car and computer etc once again i repeat the neuter gender noun listen carefully neuter gender nouns that are used for non living things it represents name of your objects and places nouns that represent neither male nor female are called neuter gender okay is it clear dear let's see more examples for common and neuter nouns first let's see the common noun first one he is a clown in this sentence we are talking about clown clown is a general name for the person so it is called common noun second one it is his dog dog is a general name for the animal third one they live in a city city is a general name for the place okay is it clear next we will move to the neuter noun first one book book is a non living thing so it is called neuter noun is it clear next one table pen bed chair box handphone these are called non living things so it is called neuter noun is it clear dear i hope you understood the today topic next we will move to the homework session do your homework properly and send your photos to your classmates read and write masculine and feminine gender nouns two times now i read the masculine and feminine gender nouns listen carefully headmaster headmistress hero heroine hunter huntress husband wife king queen man woman milkman milkmaid do your homework properly thank you all See you the next session